Hello, my sweet cakes, and welcome to Auntie Nelly's Kitchen. This is a quarantine edition. I know it's a little scary out there right now, but I'm going to tell you, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? You or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Ghostbusters. We're ready to believe you. That's right, my sweet cakes. To honor Ghostbusters, we are making Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Luckily, I have everything I need in my refrigerator. So. To prepare, you're going to take a glass dish and cover with clean wrap. Then take some vegetable oil and brush it on. We want to make sure we cover all the spots because marshmallows are sticky. To make the gelatin, you're going to take a quarter cup of water and pour it into 24 grams of powdered gelatin. Then we're going to let it sit for about five minutes until it blooms. There's a man from the EPA here to see ya. EPA? What does he want? I don't know. All I do know is that I've been working for two weeks straight without a break and you promised to hire more help. Janine, someone with your qualifications would have no trouble finding a top flight job in either the food service or housekeeping industries. You gonna answer that? I quit better jobs than this. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Once your gelatin has bloomed, you're going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and we want to return it back to liquid form. You're going to pour this and a quarter cup of glucose into a mixer. We are going to mix the glucose and the gelatin on a low speed while we make our syrup. Now let's make some syrup. You're going to take a quarter cup of glucose, three fourths cup of sugar, and a half a cup of water and pour all of this into a medium saucepan. Bring to a boil over high heat, dissolving the sugar. Once the sugar is dissolved, stop stirring and wait until the mixture reaches between 234 and 239 degrees Fahrenheit on a candy thermometer. You're very handy, I can tell. I bet you like to read a lot too. Print is dead. Oh, that's very fascinating to me. I like to read a lot myself. Some people think I'm too intellectual but I think it's a fabulous way to spend your spare time. I also play racquetball. Do you have any other hobbies? I collect spores, molds, and fungus. With the mixture on low speed, we're going to pour our hot syrup into our gelatin mixture. Raise the speed to medium for about five minutes. Now we're going to raise our speed to high for another five minutes. Add two teaspoons of vanilla and mix for a further two minutes. Now we can pour our mixture into our glass dish. Push it around using a spatula covered in oil, or like me, I love to get messy, so I put oil on my hands and pushed it around. Pour two cups of sifted corn flour and two cups of powdered sugar on top of the marshmallows. Set aside uncovered to let them firm over a minimum of four hours. I like to leave mine overnight just to be safe. I thought Gozer was a man. It's whatever it wants to be. Well, whatever it is, it's gotta get by us. Right. Go get her, Ray. Gozer the Gozerian, good evening. As a duly designated representative of the state, county, and city of New York, I order you to assist any and all supernatural activity and return forthwith to your place of origin or to the nearest convenient parallel dimension. Thanks, Ray. That ought to do it. Are you a god? No. Then die. Someone asks, if you're a god, you say yes! Now that our marshmallows are set, we get to take them out. Take your powdered sugar mixture and sprinkle it onto your work surface. Take your glass dish with the marshmallows in it and dump it over and unmold your marshmallows. And then take the clean wrap and peel it off. 
Place your gingerbread man cookie cutter and your small circle cookie cutter that measures one and a quarter inches into a bowl of hot boiling water. Dry off your cookie cutter and begin making cuts. Unlike cookies, you don't want to put your cookie cutter back into your powdered sugar mix. You want to put it back into your bowl of water. Then dry off and repeat the process. To prevent stickiness, you want to roll each marshmallow into your powdered sugar mixture. Once you've done that, take your sifter and sift off the extra powder. To give them a face, I'm going to use a black edible marker. Now you can't draw on his face like you could on a normal piece of paper. So I had to use a dotting method to create the shapes that I wanted. To attach his hat, use a toothpick. I pushed it into my gingerbread man first and then pushed in the hat. I'm going to use blue royal frosting to create his bib. So I'm doing the outline and then using runny frosting to fill in. Now take the blue frosting and make a perimeter around his hat and then put a big dot right on top in mid-center. To make his beautiful scarf, you want to take your red frosting and draw the design. Now you don't need a whole lot of runny frosting, but you do need some. So I just used a toothpick with a little dab of the runny frosting on it and filled in the areas that I needed to. And then I added a little tassel on top of his hat. For a final touch, I'm going to add a white outline around his bib. <laughs> and there you have it, my sweet cakes, your Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time. Sub creatures, the traveler has come. Choose and perish. What do you mean, choose? We don't understand. Choose. Choose the form of the destructor. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, very cute. Whatever we think of will appear and destroy us. So empty your heads. Empty your heads. The choice is made. The traveler has come. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody chose anything. Did you choose anything? I didn't choose anything. I couldn't help it. It, it just popped in there. What? What just popped in there? I, I tried to think. Uh, no, it can't be. It can't be. What did you do, Ray? I tried to think of the most harmless thing. Something I loved from my childhood. Something that never ever could destroy us. Mr. Stay Puff. <laughs> There's something strange in your neighborhood. What are you gonna do? Like and subscribe. And there's something weird and I don't look good. What are you gonna do? Like and subscribe. Follow, 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 follow on Instagram.